Hello travelers, welcome to Greece, land of ancient ruins, gyros, and a surprising number of things tourists haven't completely overrun. Yes, while Santorini's White Houses are lovely and nobody should turn down a good plate of moussaka, Greece is so much more than its cliches. So if you're tired of sharing your vacation photos with 5,000 other people holding selfie sticks, buckle up. Are you ready to explore Greece like never before? Get ready to have your minds blown wider than a Greek wedding after a few too many shots of ouzo. First up, we're whisking you away to Antiparos, an island so steeped in mystery, it makes Agatha Christie novels look like children's books. Forget Mykonos, this is where the real magic happens. We're talking hidden caves, ancient ruins, and enough local legends to make your head spin faster than a Zorba the Greek dance-off. Seriously, this place has more history per square foot than a museum basement. If you're lucky, you might even stumble upon a hidden treasure, or at the very least, a really good gyro. Next, we're off to Arakova, a village so charming it's practically trademarked. Imagine cobblestone streets, houses clinging to cliffs like particularly determined goats, and enough local crafts to make Etsy explode. Time seems to slow down in Arakova. You can stroll through the streets, soak up the atmosphere, and forget all about the modern world. Until you check your phone and remember you're supposed to be posting envy-inducing travel photos. Don't worry, we'll wait. So, you think you know Greek beaches, do you? You've seen pictures of Santorini's blue roofs and Mykonos's party crowds, and you think, been there, done that, got the overpriced gyro. Well, hold on to your sun hats, folks, because Elephonisi is about to blow your sandals off. This place is like the Greek island's best kept secret, a beach so stunning it looks photoshopped. We're talking crystal clear turquoise waters, soft pink sand thanks to crushed seashells, and a lagoon so shallow you can practically wade to Crete. Honestly, it's so beautiful. It's almost embarrassing to admit you haven't been here. Almost. Look, I'll be honest, when I hear Kalamata, my brain goes straight to those little black olives you get on a Greek salad. But folks, Kalamata is so much more than just a salty garnish. Nestled in the Peloponnese region, this place is a foodie paradise, a symphony of flavors that'll make your taste buds sing. We're talking fresh seafood pulled straight from the Mediterranean, juicy tomatoes bursting with sunshine, and olive oil so good you'll want to bathe in it. And yeah, they've got olives too. But trust me, Kalamata will have you saying, oopa, for all the right reasons. Now I know what you're thinking. Another Greek festival? That's about as exciting as watching paint dry on a ruin. But hold your horses, because the annual festival in Castoria is not your average opa and plate-smashing affair. This is a full-blown, week-long party, a riot of color, music, and traditions that dates back centuries. We're talking elaborate costumes, ancient rituals, and dancing in the streets that would put your drunk uncle's wedding antics to shame. It's the kind of festival that'll make you want to book a flight, rent a toga, and learn how to say yamas with feeling. Just maybe lay off the ouzo until after the dancing. Ever wanted to visit a medieval castle town? Welcome to Monemvasia. Nestled on a small island off the eastern coast of the Peloponnese, this hidden gem is often overlooked by most tourists. Monemvasia, also known as the Gibraltar of Greece, is a marvel of medieval architecture. The town's unique location, perched on a rock in the Aegean Sea, offers breathtaking views that will leave you mesmerized. Its medieval charm, coupled with its stunning natural beauty, creates a magical atmosphere that's hard to resist. In Monemvasia, you'll feel like you've stepped back in time. But don't forget your smartphone. You'll need Google Maps to find your way out. If you're a fan of Venice, but not of the crowds, Naflio is your Greek alternative. Once the capital of Greece, Naflio has a rich history 
that is as captivating as its stunning views of the Argolic Gulf. Venetian neoclassical mansions rub shoulders with Ottoman fountains and Byzantine churches, painting a picture of a town that has seen its fair share of rulers. The Venetian influence in Naplio is most evident in its three fortresses, Palamidi, Acronaplia, and Borsi. Each of these fortresses offers a unique perspective on the town's history, Naplio. Because who needs Italian gondolas when you can have Greek caiques? Ever wondered what life would be like without cars? Come to Hydra and find out. On this idyllic Greek island, not a single car is in sight. Instead, the island's narrow, cobbled streets echo with the clip-clop of donkey hooves. These hard-working animals are the island's taxis, delivery trucks, and shopping carts all rolled into one. Walking around Hydra, you can't help but be charmed by the unhurried pace of life. People stroll leisurely, stopping to chat with neighbors or to sip a coffee at one of the waterfront cafes. It's a place where time seems to slow down. On Hydra, the only traffic jam you'll experience is a donkey traffic jam. Now that's what we call eco-friendly transportation. Afraid of heights? Then Meteora will give you a run for your money. Now, imagine for a moment a world where monasteries sit atop sky-high cliffs. That's Meteora for you. This place is not just about the adrenaline rush, but also a spiritual retreat. From these lofty heights, the views are nothing short of breathtaking. You're not just looking at a picturesque landscape, you're literally in the clouds, closer to heaven than ever before. The atmosphere up here is serene, almost otherworldly. It's no wonder the monks chose this place for prayer and contemplation. Meteora, where getting closer to God requires a bit of rock climbing. Ever heard of Mastic? If not, Chios is here to enlighten you. Chios, the fifth largest of the Greek islands, is fondly known as the Mastic Island. Why you ask? Well, it's the only place in the world where the Mastic tree, or Pistacia lentiscus, weeps its precious resin. This unique resin is used in everything from cooking to cosmetics, and even in medicine. The island is dotted with Mastic villages, or Masticacoria, where the cultivation and processing of Mastic has shaped the landscape and the way of life for centuries. Chios, where trees cry and the tears taste delicious. All right, let's be honest, you're probably not watching this in hiking gear. You're likely on the couch, maybe in sweatpants, possibly concerningly stained, but trust me, Zagori will make you wanna swap those sweatpants for some sturdy hiking boots. This region is a hiker's paradise, full of breathtaking trails that weave through towering mountains and charming villages. We're talking views that would make even the most jaded Instagram influencer weep with joy. So, put down the phone, grab a walking stick, and prepare to discover the unspoiled beauty of Zagori. Next up, we're heading to Tino's. And no, I'm not talking about the Tinder for cows, though that would be an interesting app. Tinos is an island where creativity flourishes like weeds in an abandoned parking lot, which is to say, it's absolutely thriving. This place is a haven for artisans, with workshops tucked away in every corner, crafting everything from ceramics and textiles to jewelry and sculptures. So, if you're looking for a truly unique souvenir, ditch the I Heart Grease t-shirts and head to Tinos, where you can find a piece of art that's as individual as you pretend to be. Almost finally, we arrive at Sunio, a place so picturesque, it's basically Greece's way of showing off. Imagine this, the sun, a giant ball of flaming gas, dramatically dipping below the horizon, casting an ethereal glow across the ancient temple of Poseidon. It's the kind of view that makes you want to compose a haiku, even if the best you can come up with is sun go down, big water, pretty lights. But even that simplistic poetry won't do Sunio justice. So, bring your camera, your best friend, or your worst enemy, because everyone deserves to witness this breathtaking spectacle. So you want to see some ancient ruins without the usual scrum of sweaty tourists, eh? 
Well, grab your sensible sandals and your most Indiana Jones hat because we're off to Delphi. This place was once considered the center of the freaking world, at least according to Zeus. These days, it's more like the center of a really fascinating history lesson. You've got temples, a stadium, a theater, all just begging to be explored without someone accidentally whacking you in the face with a selfie stick. Look, I get it, traveling can be rough. Your feet are swollen, your back hurts from that ancient bed in your charming B&B, and you're pretty sure that Gyro disagreed with you. Well, fear not, weary traveler, because Lutraki is here to soothe your aching everything. This spa town is basically a giant bathtub filled with naturally heated, mineral-rich water. And no, before you ask, I don't know if Zeus was involved in this one too. Just get in the damn water and relax. From the mysterious shores of Antiparos to the tranquil springs of Lutraki, Greece is bursting with hidden gems just waiting to be discovered. So ditch the tourist traps, pack your sense of adventure, and get ready to experience the real Greece. Each place, a story, each story, a new adventure. But here's the thing, these are only some of the countless wonders that Greece has to offer. Beyond the tourist hotspots, there's a whole world waiting to be explored. Hidden beaches, quaint villages, majestic mountains, and ancient ruins whispering tales of yore. So, I encourage you all, venture beyond the beaten path. Seek out the hidden gems. Who knows, you might even find your own personal favorite spot. Probably not as good as this one very specific rock I found, but still. Anyway, see you in Greece.